Halloween is nearly a week away now, and that means time is running out for you uh, to experience a haunted house. Cora Harlan is live from Portland's largest Halloween event right now. He's joining us with more. It's a Fear PDX. Core, is it is scary during a pandemic? How's it looking this year? Well, they have made some adjustments, uh, but it does uh, live up to its billing as one of the scariest uh, haunted houses in the Portland area. We're in uh, we're in 120 second, about 120 second Northeast Gleason this morning in the uh, in the mall here, the Menlo Park Mall at Fair PDX. Brian Mudgett is with me this morning, who has done this for years and years and years. Brian, good morning, and this is a strange, strange times that we're living in, correct? Yeah, yeah, we had to make some uh, major adjustments, but we still have a great sh uh, show here, and everything's good, so. So what I'm used to seeing when we come out here are things kind of hanging down from the ceiling that you kind of walk through and you get some scares. You have a lot of actors that are reaching out at people. Uh, that may not be the case not, this year, not, right? Not necessarily this year. So there's a few major changes that people really will see, or they may not even notice. Um, we've taken out all the draperies, all the bodies. We're very known for making you have to push through bodies and, and props and whatnot. Nothing you can come in contact with. All of our actors that we have are actually behind some sort of barrier so they do not come in contact with you as well. Of course, they're also wearing PPE as, a, as another right, precaution. Right. The other big thing too that's, uh, that's all, well, you actually use lasers to hide the sight lines so you don't come in contact with lasers. And that's, that's a new thing we did. We also added a whole bunch of new animatronics and effects. Like this like guy Like this here. guy right now here. Tell me about this guy here. This so is this is the Reaper. He's uh, the storyteller. He welcomes you in here. And uh, he's just uh, doing his thing at the moment. But uh, he, uh, he gets pretty nasty when you first come in the haunted house. Uh -huh. Well, actually, I should say the haunted museum because we are a haunted museum this year. Uh -huh. So that's the other big thing that's different is the aisles are very well lit compared to a traditional haunted house where it's really dark all the time. So. How, how long does it take a person to get through this again? Now, this is 12,000 square feet of, of Yeah, the actual space, maze right? is about 12,000 square feet, a little more, actually. And how long so, does it take you to get it's, through? It's about a 20 to 25 minute 20. adventure going through it. So. Okay, and tell, folks who still want to be interested in coming out here, you're going to be tonight. Uh, well, just tell me your schedule from now through So Halloween. we're open Thursday through Sunday this weekend. So I got to let you know, we're only letting 30% of our normal occupancy in. Just like any business with a restaurant mm -hmm. that has less tables, we're doing the same thing for socially distancing. So tickets sell out every single night. And they're time tickets? They're time, time tickets, yeah. Well. So we only allow a certain amount of people per time slot to obviously help with social distancing. All right, well, you heard it from Brian. He's out here, uh, COVID or no COVID. They have added a lot of electronics and, uh, uh, to the show. And you even say, in some regards, this has solved some problems that you had last yeah, year. I think, I think it's the best show we've had. I'll be honest with you. Yeah. Um, I've always said this, this whole thing, there's a little code that zombies can't get to you because they have to eat your brains. Well, <laughs> now they can't get to you. Now they can't get Maybe. to you. <laughs> From Fair PDX this morning here in Northeast Portland where the Grim Reaper over everybody's shoulder. This, this uh, if the lights were off here, uh, would be a pretty terrifying thing. And there's still a lot of terrifying things as you come around corners here in terms of sounds, lights, uh, clowns dropping out of ceilings, which we'll show you in the, in the next hour here from Fear PDX in Northeast Portland. Jenny and Ken. Yeah, where in Northeast Portland is Fear PDX? 122nd and Gleason. This is the Menlo Park Shopping yeah. Plaza. Mm -hmm. Menlo Park Shopping Plaza, 122nd and Northeast Gleason. Okay. Mm, okay. Well, no zombies eating the brains this year. That's a that's an improvement for me. So. You gotta like me. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> it's it's a, it's a sad thing, isn't it? When zombies can't eat brains in the morning. I mean, I, I yeah, sure. Yeah, we're, we're very disappointed yeah. by that, but that's okay. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> Thanks, yeah. Thor. Oh, let's take we'll a look live. at our let's take a look at our uh, traffic and weather right now.